guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. It's Gav, aka Baytech, and in this video, we're gonna do a little bit different to what we usually do. We're gonna look at data logs and how we look at data logs for the Maxis U. Now, I may do more in depth ones, however, this one here is just gonna show you the basics on the data logs and how I look at data logs to see how badly my car is going down a track. So let's get straight into it. Um, I'm using an OBS software here. I've never used this before, so hopefully this works. We'll see how it goes. We're kind of winging it here. Um, and we're gonna get into some data logs. Now, ignore all this shit here. I've got lots of random shit here for maps and cars over the years and stuff. I also have maps here. As you can see, there's lots of maps for different people in here, my own stuff as well. I've got data logs from God knows how long, you know, there's a lot of data logs and stuff to go over as well. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I look at data logs in Max ECU. So what we'll do is we'll go into this one here. As you can see, this one here is a log. We'll just double click on that. Now, Max ECU will open up here in two separate windows. Now, these windows um, are two separate things, although they do work in conjunction with each other. So we'll just make this full screen just now. Um, and I'm just going to kind of show you how the Max ECU data log inside of things work. Uh, and a couple little tips. We'll not go right into this map here. This is a log, uh, it was the last two, I think this was a 9.1 pass. But we're not going to go into my data log today uh, until I've got you guys up to speed on how we look through these data logs. Now, Max ECU data logs, if you send somebody a log of your car, it automatically embeds your map into it. Now, this is just a land table, fuel table, all your tables here, you can see you've got a little set of crosshairs. Now, if you open up your map, you can see where you are in your map during the logs and stuff. So that's a cool feature. You can do it with everything. Like, there's boost control as well. Uh, we'll look at boost control targets, for instance. This one here, you can see as well. I do this one time after launch for boost by time. Um, and as you can see here, you can see the timer moving along there, the crosshairs. So... What we'll do is we'll look into the Max ECU data log inside of things first. And if there's enough interest, I'll go more in depth on how to look into data log in your car and look at information, looking between the data logs and looking at your maps. Now, there's a lot of squiggly lines here. Don't look at them all at once because <laughs> you're not gonna be able to look at them all at once, but there's a lot of squiggles here. There's a lot of data in a data log. In fact, Max ECU actually in fact, I'll show you just now, just a quick one, right click, select channel, you can look at any single thing that the Max ECU sees and you can data log it. I, this data logs is during a run and I have my uh, Max ECU plugged in at the time to my laptop so this gives most amount of data for me but I can look at anything here like let's look at lost or trigger counter, let's have a wee look at that, anything. Absolutely anything. You can look at any data you want. Max ECU has, and I mean thousands of parts of data that you can look at in your data log. Now, another thing you may notice up here, I have graph one, boost, pressures, knock, temps, fuel, VVT. I have all these set up. Now the Max ECU won't come with these. However, you set them up to whatever you want. You can do add graph page here. You can type it test, whatever you want, whatever you want to name it, okay? Click OK, and then you're going to test, and then you can configure this page however you want. Remove plot area, add plot area, do whatever you like. You can add heaps of plot areas if you want. I typically spread them into different tabs, so it, it keeps things a little bit simpler for me. Um, you can see here, we'll go into this one here, for instance. This is my boost. This map pressure here, map pressure. 382 kPa, that is one, sorry, 2.8 bar of boost. You've got to remember, we breathe at 100 kPa. Now, this is going to get relatively confusing as we go along because when it comes to my pressures, like oil pressure and fuel pressure and stuff, I use pressures above atmospheric for that. So, um, again, it's personal preference, but um, we'll go by that. So, as we can see, 
Uh, what I'll do just quickly is I'll remove this uh, orange squiggly line here and I'll show you one of the issues we had with the 9.1 run Creole. So this one here, we can see is actually my exhaust gas back pressure. Um, like I say, it's no, no issues, no issues at all. We'll get into that at some point, but what I'll do is I'll just remove this just now. So um, user table, you can just start typing. You can see the tip. I'll uncheck that. And another one as well, exhaust gas back pressure, which is the same data. If I spell that right, host exhaust we'll unclick that just clean up a little bit so you can see now this is a handy one for me boost um this is my target boost table here as you can see earlier on in the map we have by time now if we look back at the log we can see there's a raise here there's a little bit of a ramp here how it ramps into boost it'll probably look quite similar here yeah you can actually move these up and down as well if you like by clicking this part here uh, your boost curve i know holly guys and drag guys like to do that but i taper my boost in over you know a couple of seconds there to try and stop shocking and traction losses which to be honest in this pass didn't really work but as you can see the green is my target my actual boost is here and at this particular part of the log you can see the boost is away from the green line it's down at you know 2.4 bar a boost but my boost on a duty which is trying to make all the boost at a hundred percent so at this point here my boost controller is trying to send all my boost to the wastegate to close it to make more boost but it can't and that's kind of down to my wastegate sticking open and if they're sticking open they're just going to bleed all the turbo speed off they're going to bleed all the exhaust gas off and your turbo speed will slow down and you'll make less boost so like i say this is not a how to or how we're going to go through my data log that'll maybe be in another one if we get more interest um but i just wanted to show you this uh quickly in max ecu how cool max ecu is for figuring shit out there is one little tip i'll give you in this video we'll set up lambda And we'll set up lambda target. So let's have a wee look here. Lambda target. There we go. There's my two. As you can see, this is my actual lambda. I'm targeting 0 0.78 lambda during my run. And I have to say this. Do not copy the numbers you see in my in my curves. If you run 26 degrees of timing in your car, the same boost as I'm running, you will blow your engine into space. Like your car will completely destroy itself. I was kind of tempted to try and kill the car at this on this day. However, I just didn't make enough boost to actually kill it. But if you run this timing on your car, you're going to melt it. Just simple as that. Please don't copy my numbers because I don't want to be responsible if you blowing your shit up. Um, however, Lambda and boost, I always seem to target 0.78 Lambda, which is around about 11.1, 11.3 AFR to you Americans. Um but I want to show you a cool little trick here. So we can see the Lambda made target, but it was adding 2% here. It was adding 2% here. Now, a quick little trick in Maxi's U. Right click, selection, begin selection. At the end of the run, right click, selection, end selection. Now this grays out this area between here and here. And what I can actually do, and I'll show you this just quickly, if we go into my fuel map a second, you see these numbers here? I can then go into my data log and I can auto-tune by right-clicking, selection, auto-tune VE. See how it's now changed my VE numbers to blue? That has then changed my fueling to try and meet to that target without adding the two three percent <laughs> that's how cool max ECU is you don't even have to do it live you can do it afterwards on a data log you can change <laughs> your fueling map to be more accurate to the target in the data log so um yes like i say this video was just a little quick show you uh, around max ECU show you the data logging functions there's a lot of information in here but if there's enough interest in this and you guys want to actually see the information of this run on how much wheel spin i had 
and all the data to do with it, let me know in the comment section and I'll make you another video. Right guys, thanks a lot for coming along and watching and as always, stay safe, take care and we'll catch you in the next video.